Hello my dear students, in the last part of the video we have done Social Studies Chapter 1, the story of the past, exercises A and B. So today in this video we are going to do the remaining exercises that is C, D and E. So let us start. Exercise C match the following. Number 1. Time and history, we have to join with number C, are continuous. Number 2, famous, we have to join with number D, known by many people. Question number 3, ordinary, we have to join with E, not special. Number 4, historian, we have to join with A, a person who studies history. Number 5, Timelines. We have to join with number B, helps us to understand when events happened. Exercise D, complete the sentences in your notebook. Number 1, we learn history because dash. Answer will be, we learn history because it is interesting. Number 2, we also learn history because it helps us to understand the past. Number three, a third reason to learn history is because it helps us to understand today's world. Next is exercise E answer the following questions. Number one, what is history? Answer, history is the study of the people and events of the past. Question number two, write three sentences about what we learn in history. Answer, in history, we learn about number one, the events that happened in the past to people and to places. Number two, why the events of the past happened. And number three, famous people and the lives of ordinary people who lived in the past. Question number three, what is a timeline? Timeline is an order of events which happened in the past. Number four, why is a timeline important when studying history? Answer, timeline is important when studying history because it tells us the order in which events happened. Question number 5. What are the three periods into which the study of history is divided? Answer. The three periods into which the study of history is divided are Number 1. The ancient or the very old period Number 2. The medieval or the middle period And number 3. The modern or the more recent period So students, we have completed Social Studies Chapter 1. Please write down everything in your copy neatly and learn all the exercises. Thank you everyone.